Hello everyone and welcome to hold on a sec, there we go. And welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. So last we left off, I was up here. And we had tried going this way and I couldn't find the copper we were looking for. So I decided uh you know we were getting lower readings up top, we were getting stronger readings down here. And we had definitely pinpointed it to somewhere around this area. So I decided we're probably going to find it if I keep going down. At which point I started this tunnel. At around here I started finding medium. Here it was large. So I decided, you know what? We'll go down the way we saw it before. And sure enough, I found some copper. Unfortunately... It's poor quality native copper. So on one hand, it is exactly what we're looking for. On the other hand, it is of terrible, terrible quality. Uh, there's also a chance that the vein isn't going to be very big. So let's hope this doesn't mess us up both ways. I also found another stone type. Uh, we're currently at the border of stone type. So we're far enough down that the... Uh, just like in the real world, stones uh, or st rock types are compressed on top of each other. Uh, you have igneous, igneous extrusive, uh, intrusive. I can't remember. But basically you find different types of rocks at different altitudes, typically. Uh, the geography of a place can change that, and so on and so forth. I am no geology expert, so that is about as good of an explanation as you'll get from me, and I'm sure even in that little sentence I was wrong about something. But we found marble, which is probably one of my favorite building blocks in t TFC. So I am very much glad that we are getting some of that by doing this. Uh, let's see, is there more this way? Uh, I'm gonna go this way for a little bit. Uh, let's put you here. Well, let's see, we're one, two, three, four blocks out. Oop. Oop. Nothing. Okay. How are we doing over there? Large sample? Perfect. Large sample. So, the fact that we're now at large sample when we were getting very large before is a bit disconcerting. I'm hoping that removing those two pieces didn't just completely destroy our vein size. That would imply that it's very, very small. Well, it looks like the rocks are rising. We're probably heading towards a hill or something. Okay, nothing here. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, so at this point, I'm probably gonna be building up my supports in a square pattern. Uh, that's typically the way I do it. So once I find the vein, is I isolate it, I dig towards it, and then I section off squares uh, at the furthest away I can put my things like that. So now that I've got, you know, a beam over there, over there, and over there, I cut out everything in the middle. Uh, actually, typically I would want to... Do I have enough wood? I'm also currently out of food, so we're probably gonna have to head back soon. Uh, once I'm halfway down my food, I'll head back home. I think that'll be enough to get me there. Uh, so actually, let me do exactly what I was just talking about. And now I'm going to see if two different support beams can interact with each other. I realize there's a piece of copper in the wall right next to me, so... Uh, I could really just do that right there, but... Uh, there's also a chance that there's some in here somewhere. Okay, so they do they do touch, so that's good. So I'm going to use this, this section as a demonstration. 
So this is what I would do normally is find the vein and then start going towards towards the ores and then clear out paths like this. So now I'm going to go this way and then I'm going to go this way until I can place some more supports. And then I'm going to hopefully see another ore before the end of this part. Hopefully. There we go. Well, it's not exactly going to help, but... And that's going to determine the direction I go, left or right. So it would be nice to find one on one side of this wall. One, two, three. Okay, unfortunately I didn't find any, and I don't have enough wood anymore. So, we're actually going to leave this here, I guess. That's unfortunate. Uh, and alright, we only have... What's that? 60, 60 units of copper. So this is terrible. D is that it? Let me, let me just make sure that's not all the copper that's here. Large sample. Okay, so there's still large samples. There's a very large sample, so we're probably going to want to go this way. Uh, yeah, definitely this way. So, uh, yeah. But now that I've shown you how I mine, and uh, what is this? Quartzite? Where did we find quartzite? Oh, right over here. Interesting. What does quartzite look like again? Uh, the cobblestone is okay. The bricks are what I'm probably most interested in. Okay, so they got a light whitish pinkish hue. Kind of like quartz, oddly enough. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'll come back here on my own time and I'll mine this whole thing out and so on and so forth. Now that I've shown off my mining strategy. And actually... I don't really have anything else planned, so I may cut, do that, and then we'll bring you back in. Is the sun rising? I assume it is, because all the mobs are out right now. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, that is definitely home, right? Yeah. So, fortunately, I decided to leave right as the sun was coming up. Uh, let's see here. So, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut here. And then I'm going to do a whole bunch more off-camera work. Uh, I guess I just wanted to show you guys that I actually found the copper. Uh, I have a ton of time to do off-camera work, so it's... And I should be able to record tomorrow, if need be, if I can't get any more in today. And then, uh, so yeah, I'll bring you guys in when I have enough ore to do something with. Well, enough ore to make a, to advance, to advance our technology. That's what I'll do. I'll gather a whole ton of stuff, and then we'll start getting better stuff. Yeah, I just realized how I said that. But anyway, uh, I will see you guys in what's probably going to be hours for me, but seconds for you. So back in a moment. Hello, everyone, and well, I guess welcome back. Sorry, I did that as if it was an intro, but uh, this is going to be the other half of the episode. Uh, I just reopened the world. Come on, everything load in, please. It's been really slow loading for me today. Uh, so this is the day after I recorded the last bit. Uh, I didn't get everything I needed, but I got enough for us to do something. So let's do something, shall we? Uh, first things first, I'm going to need a vessel. Uh, do I not have like a vessel just sitting around waiting to be used? Uh, I guess not. Okay, well... Alrighty then, uh, I guess I'll borrow this one with the fish in it and the cheese, apparently. Uh, you can both go up here. 
And I'll make two more vessels while I'm doing this, because why not? I assume I have the clay for it. I do. So, one, two, three, four. I want three of these, right? I'll have room for, yeah. Alright, so, uh, I figured for the rest of this episode, I'm just going to show you how to weld ingots. Uh, I have enough wood on me, perfect. So let's drop that in there, that in there, and this in there. And then we're going to open this guy, and I need a multiple of 200, because to make a double ingot, to weld a double ingot, we need two ingots, and each ingot is 100. So I think if I go... Uh, I managed to find a vein of rich copper. I didn't find any more of the poor copper in that other vein. Ah, oh, that was a nightmare. Uh, I think I know where it is now, but my pick is so low on durability, I don't really want to go witch hunting for it and waste it and then have to make another just to get some more ore. Because it's just poor copper, right? So I managed to find this rich native copper. So we're going to use that for now. Uh, I collected some bismuth. I'm probably going to work on a uh, a better... Uh, uh, or replacing this pick because it's almost dead. So... 11 times 35 should be 385, right? Uh, 35, uh, 350 plus 35 would be, yeah, 385. Plus uh, 15 should bring us to 400, which is, a, in fact, a multiple of 200. So we'll put this in here. Uh, that should make us 400. So this will be enough for two double ingots. So I'll be able to show this process twice in case I mess it up the first time. Which, don't get me wrong, is extremely likely. Uh, I need some sticks, apparently. I'm totally out of sticks. Probably made them all into torches. As a matter of fact, I know that's exactly what I did. Unfortunately, all the trees are way too high for me to get sticks out of. Except for this guy. Thank you for being a team player, random hickory tree. They grew thanks to the random number generator. Still, don't let that devalue your effort. Okay, we're up to nine. I just, I just need a stockpile of sticks, let's be honest. There we go. Uh, and I actually managed to get two hickory saplings out of that, so... Uh, I'll just put these away for now. Well, I can put one down. I know that one will be dedicated to replacing this stump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. I really like... I kind of am glad I set up in the... Uh, the dry grass, so in the spring I don't have trees growing all over the place. At least I don't think I will. Uh, hickory saplings, do I have some already? No. I guess you're going in here. I need more chests. <laughs> Alright, so, fire starter. And let's start that up. Uh, while we're doing that, do I have anything else ready to show? No. Oh, I could do leather, right? Don't I have some large raw hides? I do. Uh, but for that, I'm going to need a log. And we'll just pop that down right like... Nope, not like that. Uh, let's see here. How do I do this? It's the same material as my house. Maybe I don't want to use this. Uh, do I have anything other than acacia? Probably not. Oh, hold on a sec. This is done. Let's do this. Uh, I need a shovel. Uh, I'm going to want to make sure I keep a, a regular eye on... Uh, that 
copper though. What is it, 16? Okay. Uh, every hour I'm gonna go back in there. Oh, okay, 17. I know it works based on the clock. I don't know if it works only by the hours. Like if you put it at the, if you started it at the end of an hour, would it uh, be done faster because it ticks over to the next hour sooner? I kind of assumed that was how it was all done, but it, uh, just because the clock is like completely reworked in TFC. But some stuff like that could still work on the tick counter. Which would make sense, honestly. Okay, uh, we got our dirt. I'm like really paranoid about this. You know what, maybe I'm just gonna... Well... Yeah. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna cut it here. Uh, I'll bring you guys back in when this thing is done, and then we'll make the welded ingots and everything will be fine I have enough hammer durability everything is good everything is good so yeah I will see you then okay so I just realized uh, NEI or no not NEI Wayla Wayla has a nice little tooltip at the top of the uh, if you highlight the pottery, I guess. The kiln. That's what it's called. If you highlight the kiln, it gives you a nice little handy tip that says how long the potter, uh, the things have left. Uh, right now it says two hours. So, yeah. Uh, that's in-game hours, I assume. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be back when this is done. I just thought that was something cool I should point out. And, yeah. See you then. Okay, so I have the the calendar up, and it just switched from 22 to 23, and this isn't done. So it does look like this is tick, uh, tick counter based, as opposed to just the hour clock based, like feeding animals and stuff is. Alrighty, uh, let's get the one we want out of here. Yep. Oh, I forgot the ingot molds. Wow. And I only have two. Perfect. Okay, this was poorly planned. Oh well, we can still make one double ingot. So let's pour you into here. There we go, we got brilliant white. Liquid. Stay that way please, okay. Uh, unfortunately this is, uh, this is gonna be stuck, as it is. Uh, now I'm just waiting for these to turn solid. Uh, you'll see right now this one is at white four star liquid and it's cooling down quickly a lot quicker than the other one uh, come on I hope I wasn't too slow still liquid still liquid Liquid, come on. So you gotta be really quick when you're doing it this way. Uh, if I had a forge, I wouldn't need to be so precise. I could just reheat them at my leisure, but I'm deciding to do it the highest risk, lowest reward. <laughs> I forgot how long. Okay, there we go. And pop. And we bring them both over here. And I hit weld. And we have a copper double ingot. Perfect. Look at that. Exactly what we were hoping for. Uh, and actually, I got them both molds back. So, if this is still liquid. Oh, it is. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is super lucky. We're actually going to be able to make both. Where did that thing go? Uh-oh. Okay, these two are going to be way out of sync. Chances are I'm not going to be able to get these two. Uh, 
but I do have this one. So if we look at that, I need seven of these to make a copper anvil. So that's why I said we needed seven. In case you were wondering. Uh, so this one does have a head start, but I think copper has the one of the largest ranges at which it can be welded. So we may be okay. Actually, you know what I could do? Is I could... Nah, that's way too risky. There's no way I could pull it out in time. You can cool uh you can cool these down to solid form by dropping them into a water bucket, but it goes crazy quick. So if you're trying to pull them out while they're still weldable or workable, good luck. Okay, actually we might be okay. You're done. And come on, come on, come on. Two more. And now. Perfect. Okay, we actually managed to do it. Awesome. Alrighty. Uh, so that was that. Uh, next episode, uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to collect some more copper off camera. But next episode, uh, unless I miraculously come by enough copper to make the anvil it's probably going to be centered primarily around building a forge with all that charcoal we just made uh so yeah uh i think we're probably around time for today so i'm going to call it here thank you for watching hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one bye for now ah nope Bye for now. <laughs>